Hey guys, so above us is our 69 Camaro, and uh, if you remember part one of our video on the car, we uh, dove into the engine. Uh, didn't know what the condition was, didn't know anything about the history of the car. All I know is it's been sitting for a long time. So we went in and gave it a basic tune-up, spark plugs, caps, rotor, wires, all that good stuff. Messed around with the carburetor a little bit um, and put some fresh gas in it, a little bit of oil change, and man, we've got it fired up. It didn't run so good at first, but after letting it warm up and kind of blowing all that soot and all that crap out of there, man, she was running pretty smooth. So taking it out on its first drive, some of the things I noticed that stood out to me were the brakes. So the drum stuck a bit which could mean a couple things. One being the shoe has worn a groove in the drum, which is uh, not allowing it to come off. Or not. It's coming. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's all grooved up. So look at this one. Pair of the front one that was all smooth. It's got a lip right here. That's what everything was catching on was that little lip right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get all this brake dust and stuff out of here, clean everything up. You can actually start seeing the color of the springs again. I'm just taking pictures so I can come back later in case I forgot how something goes and look at my references. Um, Cause there's a lot of moving pieces and a lot of different things going on in here. So you can't take too many pictures. Right, so it's really a good idea to have a good set of uh, brake drum tools. This one works really well, especially to remove springs. Just be sure you don't drop any of your pieces. Here's your adjuster down here. Another spring. Look at all the cracks in here. Um, so there's a primary and a secondary brake shoe, and the smaller line brake shoe goes on the front, just for reference. Remember what I said about dropping? It's all right, I found it. Another spring here. This is all part of what adjusts your brakes. Okay, and then your e-brake. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and now spray this down again. All this stuff's in really good shape. Just a bunch of brake dust. We're gonna go ahead and start reassembling stuff. Let me uh, go ahead and I'm gonna grease all this up real quick. And I'll screw this all the way in and then I'll adjust it once everything's installed. And that's what I was talking about, a primary and a secondary. Primary is the one with less lining. Make sure you get everything seated. Just don't pinch your finger. Go. Get this all where it needs to be. Like that. There. Okay. That's all looks good all through there. Now the bottom stuff. Be sure you put your adjuster, the little teeth where the window is, so you can adjust it from the back side of the backing plate. Spins nice and easy. So now what we're going to do is go into the back where the backing plate is. Right there. The car feels great. It stops straight and it actually will stop really well. I'm going to show you right now. I mean, they're working. So keep cruising. 